A local homicide case is getting some national attention. People Magazine has picked up on the story of Kaylin Whitaker. The 20 year old was killed in Martinsville, Illinois on Halloween in 2014. Whitaker's mother, Leslie Roberts, says she wants her daughter's story to make an impact. News 10's Richard Solomon spent some time talking with Roberts today. He joins us now with more on their conversation. I talked with Leslie Roberts at the pretrial hearing for Connor Scott. He's the man who confessed to killing Kaylin Whitaker. Roberts told me it's an honor that her daughter's story has caught the attention of People Magazine. She believes her daughter's story being told on a bigger platform will help more people. A case that's taken nearly five years to solve now gains national headlines. What we've lost with our Kaylin is immeasurable. It's a nightmare and you have to wake up every day to the same nightmare every single day. People Magazine will feature the story of Kaylin Whitaker. Whitaker was killed on Halloween in 2014. On Monday, her mother Leslie Roberts attended a pre-trial hearing for Connor Scott, the man who confessed to killing Whitaker. Kaylin lived her life as the movie Sleeping with the Enemy, and of course that broke my heart. She wasn't able to get out of this relationship. The story will tell the couple's love story and how Scott became a controlling and possessive person over Kaylin. Robert says her daughter's story needs to be told. It's respect for Kaylin. It is such a great honor for, for our story and Kaylin's story to be, you know, publicized. Roberts wants her daughter's story to be a beacon of light to others who may be living in similar situations. It's always going to hurt because we don't have Kaylin anymore. Maybe other people might be able to see the signs of abuse, of being a victim in this type of a relationship. The pretrial sentencing is set for September 30th. Roberts told me once Scott is sentenced, the family will finally have a sense of peace. Right now, Scott is being held in the Clark County Jail. Coming up at 6, you'll hear more from Roberts on the People Magazine article and when the issue will hit stores. Back to you.